hello guys so in this lecture we will see uh, loop statement in tcl programming so in uh, the first loop available in tcl is while but the difference between while in tcl and while in c in tcl this while is a command okay and so in uh, the syntax is almost similar to the syntax we are having in c programming while after while we have to specify the condition but the condition in tcl is specified in curly braces then the opening curly braces and here will be the closing so here we will specify the condition uh, so for condition uh, let's uh, declare a variable i and 0 so we have just created a variable i and we assigned value 0 and let's say we want to run this loop 10 times so the condition will be dollar i less than 10 so this loop will run from 0 to 9 10, 10 times so it will be 10 times and let's say we will uh, print the value of i now uh, in order to break this condition we have to keep on increasing the value of i so uh, we can use expr command like right uh, sorry like set i so we have to assign uh, increased value in i so we will write expr to perform addition dollar i plus 1 so this statement this expr command will perform this operation so value will be let's say initially it will be 1 and this entire expression from here to here this will be replaced by its output because we have enclosed this one in big bracket so the role of big bracket replace the entire expression with the output and this i will be assigned that increase value in case if you are not comfortable with this one there is a short version or also available in tcl i and cr i so this one is the uh, similar one with the previous so this i and cr command it will increase value of i by 1 every time this is called so now if we will run this uh, program tcl sh show dot tcl so this program so this loop is running 10 times so this is the first loop available in tcl programming now let's see the second loop which is for loop so for loop the syntax of for loop is like uh, for then first we have to initialize uh, initialization part of our variable which will be specified in curly braces then condition checking and then finally uh, increment or decrement and then the opening body and here will be closing body so uh, the syntax is similar uh, here also we are having three part but uh, their syntax little bit different from the C we are not having a brace we are not having any semicolon all the part are separated by curly braces so let's write a program so we want to print 0 to 9 same program so here we will write set i 0 second part is condition checking dollar i less than 10 and third part is increment so i and cr i and opening and here we will write a statement to print value of i so this this one is similar to the previous one so now if you can see uh, this for loop actually reduce the number of statement needed to be written so if we run this program again this program also doing the same task but we have to write less number of instructions so this for loop having initialization here this is condition checking here and this is increment or decrement so how it execute first it will set this uh, value to i then it will check the condition if the condition is true this statement is executed then it will increase the value it will again check the condition if condition is true it will enter in the body so uh, this initialization part this one will be executed only one time in the beginning now there is one more uh, loop construct available in tcl this actually used for list so uh, let's uh, let's uh, create a list in tcl if you want to create a list 
we have to use curly braces and then let's say we have created a list with three elements so list actually a collection of variety of data we can store string number anything in list so uh, the syntax for this one is for each so it will iterate over the list then a temporary variable let's say t and then value of list and here this is opening and here what we want to do we want to print value of every element so if we execute our program so this for each in case if we are having a list and if we want to iterate if you want to process every element of that list we can go for for each loop construct thank you very much